Hey, that's right. We're starting out today with a little brew, a little coffee brew, that is. Let me clarify that. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good to see you today on this uh, Monday, November 22nd. Chilly day out there, 33 degrees. And today, I think I'm going to share with you a lot of good stuff again today that I'm reading from. Today, I'm going to uh, I, I pick Jesus Calling to share with you. Um, and another little thing I'm going to uh, pick out here. Okay, uh, let's see. November 22nd, and it uh, we're talking about... Um, here we go. A thankful attitude opens windows of heaven. Spiritual blessings fall freely onto you through these uh, openings into eternity. Moreover, as you look up with a grateful heart, you get glimpses of glory through those windows. You cannot yet live in heaven, but you can experience foretastes of your ultimate home. Hmm. Such samples of heavenly fare revive your hope. Thankfulness opens you up to these experiences which then provide further reason to be grateful. Thus, your path becomes an upward spiral, ever increasing in gladness. Thankfulness is not some sort of magic formula. It is the language of love, which enables you to communicate intimately with me. A thankful mindset does not entail a denial of reality with its plethora of problems. Instead, it rejoices in me, your Savior, in the midst of trials, and tribulations. I am your refuge and strength and ever-present and well-proved help in trouble. So that is Jesus calling. So you, you got to rely, fully rely on Jesus, the King of Kings, the, 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 our Savior and Redeemer. Fully rely on Jesus. Uh, and how do we do it? A thankful attitude. It opens you up to receiving uh, the Spirit and the love and the, and the grace that, that uh Christ gives to us. Okay, Jesus calling this morning. The other thing I wanted to share with you, uh, and, and once again, uh, I, I found this on my uh, Kindle last night. This is uh, from the book of Revelation. And they have defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. Ooh, what a powerful statement, huh? Man, uh, to not be afraid of dying because you do not place a greater emphasis on your life over your faith. Mm. Everyone is dying for something, uh, money, uh, busyness, success, uh, control. Man, however, the key question we need to ask ourselves is, what are we dying for? Think about that one today. Again, Revelation. And they have defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. A little something to think about today as you go around, uh, around the, whatever you're going to do on this Monday. Pray for each other again, like I always uh, uh, emphasize. Um, give away a smile today and a word of encouragement. All right, my friends, make it a fun day. Know that God loves you and so do I.